Hello friends, I got this DeWalt 20 volt max XR cordless impact driver for free alongside the road. Um, there was a pile of tools in the trash, I picked them out and took them. Some of them actually worked, and this one kind of works. It goes great in forward position, but the rear position, reverse position doesn't work. You can flip the switch back and forth, doesn't matter which way you put it. It only goes forward. So that way it goes forward. That way it goes forward. So that's telling me that there's either something wrong with the trigger switch itself or with the little switch mechanism that's supposed to slide a tab on the trigger back and forth. All the screws are on this side. They're actually little Torx head bolts. And they are size number T10. And I just happen to have a really nice little Craftsman T10 screwdriver. You just twist those and turn them out. There's eight screws that hold this side of the handle on. And once we take this black part of the handle off, we should be able to have a good look at the switch mechanism and diagnose the problem. When I'm working with these little screws, I always like to have a container to put them in so you don't accidentally brush them aside or drop them. That's always helps. It's even better if it's a, one of those little metal magnetic cups, but this will work for right now. It's also beneficial to have a helper with you in case there's any problems. And he's laying here, ready to help in a moment's notice. Well, it's not good news, but here, let me show you how this looks when you take it apart. This side cover pops off. I had to work around the edges of it. It fits over these little tabs that are around here pretty tight, so you got to get a little screwdriver in gently pry up around each of the little tabs so it'll pop off. Once it pops off, it reveals the switch assembly right here. This is the speed control switch. This is the electric motor. And this is the, oh, what do you call it? Impact mechanism right here. So the motor spins one way for forward. It spins the other way, supposedly, for reverse. But as of right now, the motor's only spinning forward no matter which way the switch is pushed. Now, the, the switch here is just a little piece of plastic with a hole in the middle. Watch that little tab underneath. Hear it clicking? You can't see too good because my thumb's in the way, but that little lever on top of the switch, it's like right, right there, moves back and forth as you push this lever back and forth. And so that's moving okay, and that's part of the main switch and speed control assembly. That means in order to fix this, we're most likely, almost certainly going to have to replace this whole switch assembly here. And on the brushless model tools, it's kind of a big deal because they sell the switch assembly and motor assembly as a single assembled piece, which means the price point is in the $115, $130 range. And honestly, I don't think the whole impact gun costs that much brand new. So what we're going to do is put this back together and just hang on to it for parts in case I need something off it down the road. Well, this is interesting. I put it all back together. But before I did, I grabbed a hold of the little wires I showed you where you would, like, disconnect them if you're going to change out that switch. I wiggled them a little bit, pressed everything tight back together like it's supposed to be. And now that I put it back together, it seems to be working. Let's see if we can see. Oh, maybe like that. There's forward. Turn it reverse. Look at that. Reverse. Reverse. Forward. How about that? How about that? I am locked and forward. It's working. I don't know what to say except I'm happy. And the video turned out okay because it's fixed. And even if it wasn't fixed, it still turned out okay because now everyone knows how to take those switches out and replace them if you have to and what to look for. Right, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day.